and welcome back to the card desk. I've got another great trick for you today. It's a little variation on one of the other tricks I did, um, uh, one of the other card tricks I've done. I think it's a slightly better effect. I'm not going to do a tutorial on this one, but it should be pretty easy for you guys to figure out if you know anything about magic, if you know some sleight of hand and stuff. But for those of you who don't, it should be quite amazing. So yeah, let me know what you think of it, and rate the video, and blah blah blah. Anyway, I'll just get into the trick. Uh, as you see, I've already given the deck a shuffle, and I'll give it a few cuts, okay? We ask you to take a card out. Uh, so you pick this one, and we shall show it to you. Make sure you remember it. And I shall lose that soon where in the deck. Okay, it's already gone. But to make... Yeah, doubly sure. We'll give them a little riffle shuffle as well. And I suppose I'll do a little overhand shuffle just to cut the deck even a little more. Maybe I'll give the deck another cut. Okay, so there are 52 cards in the deck. You could have chosen any one whatsoever. Uh, you could have you could have chosen this one, you could have chosen any one any one that you wanted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you some cards, and uh, it'll be easy for you, because you won't have to uh, worry about your face expression or anything, but I'm going to try and guess if, it, if it's your card or not, okay? So we'll start with the top card, that's always the easy one, the Nine of Clubs, as it happens. Well, personally, I don't think that was your card. I don't think it was. I, I, there's something about it that I just don't think it was, you know? Maybe that it's black card or something, but yeah. I'll flip the deck over and we'll use the Queen of Spades. No, I think that was yours either, okay? I shall give the deck a cut. Two of Diamonds. Mm, I don't know, I've got... No, I don't think that was yours either. Okay, I'll leave that down. Well, let's see. I am to know that all three of these cards weren't yours. I am to know that that wasn't your card. I am to know that that wasn't your card. And I am to know that that wasn't your card. Because I always keep the selected card somewhere, oh, face down, in the deck, is one card, and I usually get that one right. Any questions? No? Brilliant! Okay, subscribe and like the video. Goodbye!